Marcus Rashford. <laughs> Marcus Rashford. So, listen, this season, season absolute. For, I say this season, this second half of the season, since the World Cup, on fire. Most goals scored in the world. Um, and they're yeah, just doing bits. Every game, effective. He's not world, he's not world class yet, though. He's not world class yet. Um, he's just very solid. And I would say, due to, due to influence, I would say he's probably above Bruno Fernandes this season. So, yeah, he's... He's very solid, very good. Um, okay, so I can see, I'm seeing a bit of a balance here of, you know, of our squad being mostly average, to be fair, which is, again, Ten Hag's doing working miracles. Miracles. Um, I didn't want to make this make, make this a long video, but uh, it's my team, man. I'm passionate about my team. So you're going to have to, either you skip it, like it, whatever. But anyway, so um, Alanga. Alanga for me, loan. He's got potential still. He's still quite young. He's uh, even though he's getting older now. He's I think he's like he's twenty years old, twenty years old. He's still youngish. He has a lot of pace, but he's just his end product is not quite there yet. He'd had a good a good year under Ralph Ragnick. I'm not gonna lie, or a good few months under Ralph. Um, but he yeah, has not been as effective since. Um, and there's a lot of competition in his place now. Um, with Rashford and Sancho and Anthony and yeah, so. Palestrian, etc. So for me, it's a loan. It's a loan. It's a loan thing for Alanga. Um, Ganacho as well. Yeah, and he's next. So Ganacho. Oh no, where do I place him? Where do I place Ganacho? Because he's broken to the first team this year, and he's been a revelation. He's been a revelation. So um, for me, too too early to say he's solid. Very good. So I'm gonna say he's um, he's 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 very effective. I, I wouldn't say he's average, but I would say as a squad player, he's very good. I would say above. Sancho, maybe, maybe even above Malasia at the moment. Um, maybe even above, yeah, maybe above Malasia. He's actually very, almost in the 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 very good section, just because he, um, yeah, he's so effective when he comes on. He's effective. He scores goals. He direct, got pace, speed, all of that, all of that stuff. But sometimes he does have games where he starts the game and he's not quite as effective. Where he drops off, or but he's still young. He's only nineteen years old. He can he can grow and learn. So this is why for me he's a squad player right now. Um, but very good one. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Anthony divisive for me. Very divisive. Um, just signed, new signing, new to the Premier League. Still quite young. He's 22 years old. Um, a lot to learn. Left-footed winger. A left-footed right winger, which is a thing we needed for a while, to be fair, and we haven't had before. Um, do I think he is solid or a squad player? Now, he annoys me a little bit. Anthony, because he, I feel like he's a little bit one-dimensional. He will always cut in on his left and try to shoot in the same top top left corner or do something not very good or lose the ball. But at the same, and never goes out. Never, he never goes like on the outside and right and cross it in. I never seen him do that, which is very frustrating. And and I've even I've even heard Ten Hag say he needs to get that in his game. Um, but when he's not there, we, something is missing. Like when he's not there, I realize how important and effective he is. He's got. He's actually scored a lot of. Goals. I think he scored eight goals this season. That's actually very good for his first season. He scored eight goals already. Very important goals, like against Barcelona, Arsenal, etc. Very important goals. Um, and he he's tracking back. He he actually tracks back very well. He helps out Basaka or Dello as well on the right back position. He actually tracks his man, keeps a track, keeps up, lots of pace, lots of energy, lots of speed, um, and he actually does make a massive impact on that side. So. And I only realise that more so when he's not there. So for me, for me, he has to go in. Um, he's a solid player. Solid. I would say maybe just above the defenders. Maybe maybe just above the right back. He's a solid player. Um, not as effective, obviously, as Ericsson, Bruno, Rasha. But for me, solid. First first season, solid. All right. Moving on to Palestri. Palestri, Palestri, Palestri. Um... This is tough now because initially I would put him in loan potential, still young, 21 now, 20 years old. Um, very good, very speedy, right winger, but a direct one, like a right-footed right winger, very traditional, very good, very speedy, cross the ball in every time, great. But recently he's been doing, he's been playing and he's been doing that and it's been very, very good for us. Um, so maybe it'd be, good, it'd be good to have him in the squad as, you know, uh, I still think he needs probably another loan, maybe in the UK. Um, you know what I would say he should go you know what 
loan, let's say loan him, I'll loan him out just for one more year um, or even six months, a little six month loan. And yeah, that would be good for him because he's actually a decent player. Ronaldo um, has left the club now, so I won't place him anywhere. Um, Martial, <laughs> this is so tough, man, because when Martial plays this season, which has not been often, but he, when he has played this season, he has scored. <laughs> he's basically scored every time he's played. He's been very effective. He makes the front line, especially especially when um, now we have, obviously, Val Veghorst a bit slower. When we have Martial, Rashford and Anthony up front, that fluid front three with all speed and pace, the way how we attack is just different. Like, with this fluid pass move, move interchanging, we just get bare chances. It's different. It's different. So, I, I, but it's hard for me to put him in solid because he's never around. He's, never, he's always injured. So, like, for me, might have to sell him, you know. Might have to sell him for me. Um, I don't know. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts? What is your thoughts? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking. I, I, I'm thinking because, yeah, I know he looks like I'm talking to people, but I'm actually just thinking. So, for me, I would say um, Martial. <sighs> tempted to sell. Even though it's a bit savage, tempted to tempted to, to sell him because he's just always injured, man. But he be he and can he? Be, I don't think he can be a squad player. He's definitely he can't be solid because he's, he didn't play. You know what? I mean, savage Marshall. Sorry, it's time to go. It's, it's time to go. He can't even be a squad. I can't even Marshall. He wouldn't even be, be comfortable being on the bench. So even if he did, he was fit, and we got a main striker in. <clears throat> he wouldn't be happy being on the bench. So he needs to go. He's had his chance. He's had his chance. Gone. Listen, Lissandro Martinez. Listen, what a revelation. Oh my God. What a revelation. Listen, this guy is on his way. He's not quite world class yet. Can't say it's too soon, but he's on his way to being world class. He is quality. Left footed, left centre back. Argentinian World Cup winner. And he's even though he's the shortest defender in the league, he wins those headers. He's so aggressive. He gets the ball. He don't, he's passionate. He don't care. Like he, he will take a man out. He don't care. He will get that ball no matter what. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I love him. He's, he's a, he is everything we need in a Man United player. Top, like he reminds me of like a, a Gabriel Heinze slash Nemanja Vidic type like mentality. Just, I will go. I will get the ball. I don't care if I hurt myself. Like, come on, let's go. So for me, solid solid um i would say even higher i know ericsson has a, had a big impact quietly but martinez have had a bit has had a big impact out loud like it's obvious to see so for me martinez maybe even you know for me martinez is a bob bruno as well he's, he's just changed our defense he's changed our defense it's just quality quality solid defender so for me yep he's going there rafael varan no, I don't need a second for this. World class. Mr. Champions League. Mr. Champions League, Varane. Quality defender. Now, a lot of his work for me goes unnoticed. Like, no one really talks about him too much. It goes unnoticed. But it's because what he does, he does it so gracefully. Like a Rolls Royce. Just so gracefully. And just quality and calmly. Like, no, like you know how, obviously, Martinez is, is that aggression. Like, bang. Varane just calmly gets the ball and he always gets the ball, takes the ball, passes it out, creates attacks, just calmly. And he's got so much speed and power and wins all his headers. World class. Literally changed our defence as well. Him and Martinez, partnership, changed our defence. Martinez again with the long balls out and the passes out. His passing is his passing is so good. It's actually better than a lot of our midfielders. So Martinez, class, class. Varane, world class. Definitely. Um, all right, Harry Maguire, sell, instant sell. I'm not even, uh, there's no debate, there's no, there's no debate in that for me. Yes, it could be, yes, right now, he's actually a, a squad player now. Last season, he was, the last few seasons, Maguire has been, for me, uh, one of the key reasons why we've not been a very good team, because defensively, he's shocking. He has no pace, he has, he has a turn of, the turning circle of a fridge, of, uh, uh, sorry, of a, a lorry, and he's just, he's not effective, he's not effective at all um it, actually a lie he's effective in causing goals against us and mistakes and pulling down his own players for me 
not to be on, you know, really dissing our own players, but he's, he's not good enough to play for Manchester United at all. He's not at the level that we require. Rubbish. So for me, he definitely needs to go. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, £80 million wasted. If we can get £30 million for him, I'd be happy. So I'm putting him up as the most player. The player that needs to carry gold this this the most, if I'm being honest. Probably the most. Uh, yeah. He needs to, he just needs to go. And and he's our, and thanks to thanks. Thank you, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's our captain as well. So I'm hoping that will change soon, officially, even though he's on the bench now. So he's really captains. Anyway, um moving on from Harry Maguire, because this video is getting long. I'm very sorry, but I, I've actually enjoyed this. I've enjoyed talking about my team. Um this list is not fully updated because this, I can see there's some players missing from our squad, like the new players like Obviously, about Ben Horse, all of that stuff, and Sabitzer, but it's fine. Um, so, moving on, um, Victor Lindelof. For me, um, I think he's, he's he's an okay squad player. He's an okay okay squad player. I put him I put him above um, I put him above Van der Beek for me. I put Montamani above Van der Beek because well, just because I haven't seen Donny. Um, he's an okay. He's an okay squad player. I don't think he wants to stay and be a squad player, but he's he's, he's an okay replacement to playing cup games, etc. Um, he he gets bullied a lot. He doesn't win his headers a lot, uh, which is a little bit concerning. But he's marginally better than Harry Maguire, who should be the better defender. <laughs> but I guess because Lindelof has some speed about him, not fast, but he has some speed. Philip Jones, how's he still? How is this man still stealing a living from Man United? He's been getting paid eight million a year, eight million pounds a year for what? I haven't seen him for many, many years. Many years. How is he still getting paid? So for me, sell him. His contract ends. I don't know when it ends, but sell him. Um, so he's going. He's going second. Second. He's still better than Maguire, but he's going second. Um, as most person person that that needs to be sold the most. Um. All right, we have we have three more. We have three more. So, um, Mengi, Mengi, I haven't seen enough of him. He's still young. I think he's nineteen or twenty. Um, he's a promising defender from our youth academy. Um, so for me, it's a loan. It's a loan situation. Will he ever get in past Varane, Martinez? Probably not right now, obviously. But Varane is now twenty nine. Martinez is only twenty four, twenty five. So. Martinez is going to be there for a while. Varane may need replacing soon, depending on how, you know, he starts declining. Or maybe he'll be a Ronaldo type player or Lewandowski type player or Thiago Silva type player. And he will just last for a very long time at a high level. Luke Shaw, man, at one point he was becoming world class. At one point I was like, yo, Luke Shaw's world class. He's the best left back in the world. At one point I was like, he's the best left back in the world. Um, he's just smashing it. But he's got everything, pace, Defending, even though it's short, he wins all his headers, um, attacking, crossing, assist. And even this season, he's, he's done all that. He's smashed it. He smashed it. Every time he gets any sort of new competition at left back, he comes and smashes it. Even after a double leg break, smashed it. So um, for me, Luke Shaw, I believe, believe he will be in the position of very solid. Um, now, do I place him above Bruno or below Bruno? Ericsson as well, man. He's been ah, this is tough, man. You know the fact that Ericsson's been injured is the reason why he's going a bit low. But Ericsson has been, yeah, quietly just amazing. So, but I'm putting Luke Shaw just above, just above Christian Eric, Christian Ericsson, just because Luke Shaw has played a lot more games at the moment. He's been he's been fit, so Luke Shaw will go there. And last but not least, David De Gea. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I'm going to take everything into consideration. So, if I, the fact that he's not a modern day goalkeeper who can pass the ball out from the back and he does have a little bit of a shake, some shaky moments, um, I can't put him in world class, unfortunately. But he his shot stopping individually is world class. His shot stopping is world class. But as a package, as a whole goalkeeping package, is not quite world class when you include every single aspect. So, for me, um, for me, for me, for me, I would have to essentially um put David here in solid very good however where do I place him <laughs> I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna have to place him just above Anthony 
just because he's actually this season he's actually saved us quite a bit with some amazing saves so that this is my tier list for my united this is my final positionings we have at least five players that need to be sold three players that need to be loaned we have a mostly average squad with some very good solid players and some couple of world-class players as well um but yeah man let me know in the comments what you think about where i've placed these people do you think I've, i should have placed some people in, in different positions do you agree do you disagree let me know but yeah i know this is a long video apologies for that <laughs> but yo this is my this is my team man and i've enjoyed it but yes let me know your thoughts on the positioning of all these players and that is my united my tier list thank you for watching like comment subscribe and all that jazz for more of these football videos peace <laughs>